Hi, it's Princess, and welcome to my tips for cleaning out any unwanted CC or um, any missing meshes or textures that you might have in your game. So, I was just about to record a, another CC shopping video when I realized that I kind of have a little too many hairs in my game. Um, I remembered that the last time I was making a creative sim, it was very hard for me to navigate through all the hairs because I just have so many. As well as my clutter CC, I have so much clutter in build mode and I definitely need to do a little bit of a clean out. But I also remembered that there is a lot of people that always usually ask me, you know, how to get rid of any missing body parts that the sim might have or just too much CC in a very easy way. So I am here to give you my tips on them. I know a lot of other simmers may have shown these tips already, but if you are new to um, the CC lifestyle and new to my channel and everything, you might just want to... Um, you know see how I personally do it so I use two different programs and I'm going to show you sims for tray importer first so I will link the download for sims for tray importer in the description it is very very easy to download um, the download link is right here but when you come down here um, how to install there is a little bit of a tutorial uh, to walk you guys through it if you do get um, a little bit confused also make sure to have um, a program to open zip files whether that may be 7-zip or WinRAR just make sure you have something to open a zip file because you will need to extract files um, to download this program but anyway once you have Sims 4 Trait Importer all downloaded and good to go then you can hop in game. So here, I just have a random sim that I made very quickly. Um, but I know that I do have uh, some missing mesh CC in my game. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when you are missing a mesh. So right here, I have the texture for this top, but I do not have the mesh. So she is all confused. She has a big... Um, <laughs> question mark on her forehead some red eyes she doesn't know what the hell's going on so i'm missing the mesh for this shirt i don't think i'm missing the mesh for anything else though so yeah it's just gonna look like this um so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to keep this uh missing mesh item on and uh basically just get anything else that might also be missing a mesh so if it is also a hair i do not have the mesh for this hair then she is bald and also missing that mesh so make sure uh you have those items on the sim okay so i think that's pretty much it but there's a lot of other hairs in my game that i am not using that i probably won't be using ever so i just want to get rid of some of them and uh, i will show you guys what that process might look like so since we already have a missing mesh hair on this sim what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make another outfit for her and put some hairs that i might not want in my game so this one i don't use and i don't think i will ever use so i'm just going to put that one on her I'm going to click a second outfit so we could put a second hair on her. And I'm probably going to go with um, this one. Because this one is a Maxis Match hair. I don't use it. It's just sitting there. And I'm going to add a few more. Okay, so I think I got a few hairs that I don't really use a lot in my game that I just want to get rid of just to clear up some space. And of course, you can do this for basically anything, any dresses, any shirts. You just have to make sure to put them on different outfit slots so that they're actually, you know, wearing them so that they're actually on their body. But once you have everything all chosen, once you, you know, think you have everything that you want to get rid of, you have to make sure to... Go ahead and save the household. You can call it whatever you want. And then upload it to the gallery. The reason why you have to do this is because for Sims 4 Trait Importer to basically pick up that sim, it has to be on your gallery save. So once you have that on your gallery, you can then go into Sims 4 Trait Importer. 
All right, now when you open Sims 4 Tray Importer, you're gonna get a little something that looks like this. So basically everything that is over here, it might also look like this for you. All of these things are the things that you have uploaded onto your gallery. So you're gonna click on that uh, Sim that we just made that we just uploaded onto the gallery. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the CC tab. So this is going to display all of the CC that she has on her. So we put this Leia Lilith hair on her because I wanted to get rid of this hair. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it, show containing folder, and then it's going to show that CC um, in your mods folder. So I'm just going to basically make sure it's highlighted and then simply delete it so now we don't have that um hair in our game and we could just do that for every single piece of cc that is um on this list right here and at the beginning of this video i also mentioned that i use this program to help me link my cc so if you do make create some videos or if you have been wanting to make them and you want to uh, make cc lists and everything um it's very easy to do that once you have this cc list you just right click it again find on google and it'll basically find the download link for you and it's just very very easy that's why i love this program so much you can also get the tray files for the sim so you can make a uh, download for you know your viewers to download the sim all right so i went ahead and i deleted all of my unwanted cc super easy and everything i love this program so so much it's so easy to look at the cc that you don't want you know actually visualize it in game and then easily delete it but if you don't want to go through the hassle of starting up your game because obviously if you have a lot of cc in your game it takes a very long time to start it up you can also use another program called sims 4 studio so sims 4 studio is another um program that i use and i definitely recommend for just basically anybody in the sims community um so this one you actually need to make an account on the sims 4 studio website so i will have a link to the website in the description you're gonna need to make an account on the forum and then once you've done that you can go to download sims 4 studio open beta version so i'm telling you guys to download the open beta version because these have the latest batch fixes so batch fixes are basically fixes that uh, just fix any broken CC that any update might have caused to your game. So when the cats and dogs update came out, that was probably one of the biggest issues um, that had to deal with CC because anything that the um, pets interacted with, it basically broke all of that. So any surfaces it just all of like the counters the beds the couches you had to do a batch fix to basically make them work again with pets so you know batch fixes are super easy to do you just go ahead and update cast cc pets patch it's it's really easy you just click it and it fixes it i love batch fixes that's why i recommend everybody to get the beta version because it always has the latest batch fixes but Anyway, back to clearing out CC. If you do not want to go in game, but you want to uh, clear out your CC and also, you know, look at what you're clearing out. Once you open Sims 4 Studio, it will look something like this. And basically, you just have to go to my CC. Um, but you will see basically all of your folders that are in your mods folder right here. And once you open a folder, you can basically click on literally any hair and it'll show you that hair right in the program so you can move it around you know actually look at the hair zoom in zoom out and everything like that um and it is super easy to delete if you don't like the way that this hairstyle looks all you have to do is click the delete button down here um so these markings that you will see on this hair these like yellow lines are what you kind of see on every alpha hair um this is normal don't worry it's just the way it looks in the uh this um the program but yeah it's totally normal it looked fine in game it's just in the program it'll have these yellow hairs but anyway you can def definitely just go down your list look at all your hairs decide whether or not you want to delete them or not 
this one is a little bit of a longer process because you have to definitely click through all of the content creators that you have but if you don't want the hassle of loading up your game and uploading an ugly sim to your gallery this is just also another method that i use i do want to mention though that if you have anything that is merged like if you downloaded some cc for example i have a peacemaker um bathroom cc merged file in my game and it, sh it shows all of the separate files here so you can click on them separately but if you delete one you get rid of all of it so be careful with your merged files um so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching as you guys have uh heard in the beginning i mentioned something about cc shopping videos so keep on tabs for that because that will definitely be coming soon but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i will see you all next time bye